Well, this we're just going to have a little muck around with this generator now that it's up and running. Light's not so good in here now, it's dark, but uh, I've just plonked my cell. Hydrogen cell in a bucket of water. I'm um, going to start the motor, I'll then disconnect the positive output of the generator, hook it up to the cell, and then out of the cell we're going to go back to the battery. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is to drop the voltage down across the cell um, because our voltage difference from the output of the generator will be that voltage minus the battery voltage is what will be going across our cell. So just a little bit of a fool around having a look see how this thing actually would do driving a cell in this kind of configuration. So we'll start her up and um, then I'll go up and hook the cell up and we'll have a look at the battery voltage and see how it goes. So, like I said, just having a little play around with the setup. Um, this way we could actually produce hydrogen and charge the battery at the same time. And we could also run a second cell off of that battery that's being charged. And um, the more energy we pulled off of that battery, the more hydrogen we would produce because we're getting a higher potential difference in voltage across the cell. So um, I have noticed this generator is very low on the lens force when um, running normally hooking up and unhooking the battery throttle position stays the same and it can barely tell there's any load on the motor even when we're pulling about 250 watts. So definitely a nice little jenny. All I need now is a decent cell, which I don't have. Um, 
a dry cell maybe. But anyway, it was just a little bit of an experiment. We can produce hydrogen, we can charge the battery and we aren't drawing much current. Interestingly enough, I put the meter across the generator, or should I say the scope, and um, this is actually putting out high frequency pulses, it's not a direct DC, it's about um, 4 kilohertz in the pulses, so, um, and it's almost a sawtooth wave pulse which um, is understandable because it has no um, caps on it so that may be why the cell seems to work fairly good as well um, the open voltage across the generator output from what the meter can read um, which is probably not really accurate being a pulse DC, high frequency pulse DC but um, that's about 39 to 40 volts so just a little bit of info on it um, so I'm going to have to see if I can come up with a nice HHO dry cell from somewhere or um, spend more money and build one see what we can make this do well, that's it for me time for the shower and hit the hay ready for another week's work. Cheers from the Tin Men.